Righto, Nick. It's a little terror, so why don't you get out there and tear up the track? Let's go, Macca. I'm looking forward to it. It'll really suit the adventurous person. Absolutely. Somebody who wants to step up, find that bit more comfort because you've got your en suite, you've got your bed, mm. you've got plenty of storage space. Yep. The good thing about it is, you know, you could take the wife away and if she's not into fishing, she's going to be so happy just sitting in that van because it's really stylish inside. Yeah, there's no sacrifice of comfort. Absolutely. It's just space. Well, you know what? If she's away today with Nick and she's not into fishing, she's going to have water all around her anyway because he's about to drive <laughs> through the water. <laughs> How's it looking in there, Jamie? We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Have we got a confident one on our hands? Pretty well, yeah. He's got it. Nicely done, Nick. Very smooth. Coming up to the wombat holes would actually be quite daunting, wouldn't it? Especially if you haven't done a whole lot of off-roading because you've really got to pick your line and just stick to it, don't you? Well, you're 100% correct. And we're just talking about how compact this van is. It's a short, single axle, but it's still a full-height van. So as it comes through here, I think we're going to see a bit of left and a bit of right and some serious angles here. Done this before, haven't you? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job. Well, he certainly rose to that occasion, didn't he? And so did the van. Yeah. Well, you've got to be happy with the way it's performing. Mate, I don't even know it's on the back. <laughs> the suspension's as smooth as silk. That dust reduction hatch must be working well, mate. That's exactly right. Well, <laughs> it's putting it through its paces. This dirt track simulation is about getting the speed up, but it's got corners in it. And because that's still full height, you get into the whole physics of the thing, I think it'll stand up really, really well, as long as they're careful in the corners. Well, he was pretty careful there. Yeah, and, and Nick's got a bit of that caution about it. Yeah, He's got he Jamie in there, and between the two of them, they're probably actually a really good blend. Yeah. Let's see if we can bait the Nick up to go harder into the corners. What do you reckon, folks? <laughs> hey, Nick, will that thing go any faster? How's that, Macca? Much better, thank you. Just starting to see his lights come through now, and you've got all those little contours he comes mm. over. He's not all that experienced off the road. If he doesn't listen to Jamie here, we could have ourselves a little recovery to finish our Absolutely. tough test. And the sand pit has really been where we've had all the action where you think everything's going to go wrong nearly every time. And somehow they all pull through. They do. And there's been a couple of close calls, yeah. but no one's actually got stuck. Yeah, it's going sideways. He's had a moment of realisation yeah. there. It's all about the throttle, man. Oh, 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 oh momentum. More, 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 foot down, foot down. Mm -hmm. We can't even get out and help so us. So what's the technique? Is he got to come back over a different track? No, he's what's got to he stay there because he's, he's in a rough, as he's they say. He's turned the wheels a bit. And ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of high pressure here. The whole crew's chiming in. You can't hear it now, but the UHF radios are going nuts. <laughs> We've got so many people out here with so much experience, and they're all chiming in. I <laughs> it's problem solving by committee, and it's going to be hilarious. Worst case scenario, we can let more air in the tyres too. Yep. Well, he's holding that momentum this time. That was his problem last time. He just slowed down as he came through. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's like the little engine that caught. Don't back off, don't back off, don't back off, don't back off, don't back off. Just keep on with it. He's fine now. We have anticipated it the whole time. This corner is the one we knew that was going to stick someone up, and we got what we thought we were going to sure did. Well done, Nick. You're just going to let it off that little bit. Yep. Beautiful. Good driving. High fives, mate. Hey, high five. Well, Angie, the Chaos Mega Test Track is coming mega close to coming to an end. There's another section just down the road there called the Tavern. <laughs> a little bit attached to. Pretty attached to that too. The Little Terror's coming through shortly. Lost a little bit of time on the last obstacle. We can't blame the caravan for it. It was driver error. Here it is, the Little Terror for the final run. Go, boys. Well, I'm just trying to get up this hill. This has been a wonderful experience, guys. Something I never thought I'd ever do. Three, two, one, you have made it, Nico. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. High fives. You beauty. That was magnificent. Well done, Nick, on completing the mega test track. Now, you were doing so well before you hit the sand. Not only did the backing up in the sand cost you valuable time, it also scored you some time penalties. This means your final time is 9 minutes and 19 seconds, which even still is not a bad time at all.